A little relief from thunderstorms and flash floods in the Lake Isabella Havila area. It's so weird. I mean, the irony can't be missed. Here we are in third year of drought, mm -hmm. and yet we're talking about thunderstorms and flash yeah. flooding and And then we're happy that the thunderstorms are ending yes, yes, when we need we the rain. But we certainly are because it's led to a lot of problems up there. And really right. helped put out the fire, though, too. It has. Yeah. And now those uh, crews are out of there. And uh, we did see a few showers today, but they were very isolated. I'm going to show you those in a second. But these are probably going to be some of the last pictures we're going to be seeing from our viewers for a while up there. Renee Day sending these in. And you can see how the, some of these telephone poles and electrical poles just stuck in the mud there. And that mud is really going to be uh, hardening quickly. So anywhere we saw those flash floods certainly going to uh, be drawing on up soon. Also want to let you know she sent me a couple of videos and I think they were from her cell phone and that's something new that we're putting on our website. You view, just go to kget.com and if you send in viewer pictures or uh, any, if you email me anything out of your cell phone, we're going to put it on the website. So go ahead and you can click on the you view on the front page of kget.com and learn more about that. All right, this is not actual rain. This is actually a little bit of ground clutter. We're back at two o'clock there, but here a little bit of shower activity and this time it was just east of that burn area today and then into the desert and now everything is dried on up. So we didn't really see much today. We didn't see any of the thunderstorm activity. It was really all the way over towards the east. We did see some troubles here back over towards San Bernardino County, over towards Las Vegas, dealing with some flash flooding in Inyo County as well. But uh, as for us today, desert saw a little bit and that was about it. We didn't really see much uh, in terms of anything of rainfall. So starting to dry on out. That monsoonal moisture is leaving us. 17% humidity. We are down from about 30% yesterday at this time. And looking at temperatures around 95 degrees, winds out of the west, northwest at 12 miles per hour. And we're looking at the humidity also continuing to go down all around the county, back into the teens for the most part. Dew points, too, which have been as high as 60. A lot of moisture in the air when we're talking about 60 degree dew point, now into the 40s. That's also going to leave us as that monsoonal moisture continues to travel towards the east. We're going to watch then as our ridge will build on in, but we do have another trough on the way, so it's going to be short lived. We will be drier in terms of air quality here as we head into Friday and into Saturday, and most, much of this monsoonal moisture then continuing to to lift on out of here. However, there's another trough on the way in the British Columbia area, and that's going to bring us some cooler temperatures by Sunday into Monday. And it's also going to watch here as a little bit more moisture could come back into our area. So we may not be out of the tropical moisture just yet. That may return next week. 71 degrees in Bakersfield tonight. Dan will be around 65 in Chapter, 70 in Taft. Triple digits, though, on the western edge of the valley. 99 in Bakersfield, 99 in Lamont, too, tomorrow. And then as we head into the mountains tonight, looking for partly cloudy skies, sunny and breezy tomorrow. We'll be in the 90s, 90 into Hatchby, and into the desert. Triple digits here from Ridgecrest down towards Roseman. We're calling for a dry forecast. Everyone's dry tomorrow, and we'll be back into the 70s tonight, hundreds tomorrow. So air quality also improving, 85 then because now we don't have the particulates from the smoke in the air, so that's helping our air quality. 100 tomorrow, moderate. And then uh, weekend looks hot and dry. The temperature is near 100. And then 90s, upper 90s next week. And the mountains will be in the 90s for the weekend, upper 80s next week. So enjoy uh, the dry air. They'll be working back in. So we've been waiting patiently for, right, Jim? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Better than that uh, humidity, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Thanks. Well, straight ahead.